Welcome to my channel Striker24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this part 4 VC dial security video series, we are going to see the security related to VC dial settings and Linux level. Number 1, VC dial default admin username. The default admin username is 6666, which is well known and targeted by crackers. For best practice, create another admin users with strong password and delete the 6666 admin user. Next, the other default VC dial users, that is VDCL and VDAD with password do not edit. Although, these users are inactive and with user level of 1, but for security purpose change the password of these users from do not edit to a strong password. Next option is to enable the password encryption. By default in VC dial the passwords are in plain text and visible to other admin users. I have a separate video for, how to enable the password encryption, check this video description for link. Next enable the two-factor authentication for VC dial admin portal login. Check this video description for the video link for how to enable the two-factor authentication. Next, auto deactivating the users who are inactive more than n number of days. In VC Dial, you can use the container settings to enable this. Next, password related security. In VC Dial under system settings, enable these password securities like minimum password length, default phone registration password, default phone login password and default server password. Next, webroot writable. As I discussed in Apache hardening video, the VC dial logs the temporary and authentication details in webroot. To disable this set webroot writable to zero in system settings. Next, VC dial user levels, assign user levels according to their role in accessing the VC dial. Level one to six are mostly used for agents, closers and remote agents. That is they can't log into the admin portal. Level 7 is used for admin user, who have access only to report section. Level 8 and 9 are used as admin users. The only difference is level 8 user can't edit the level 9 user, but level 9 user can edit all others. Apart from above settings, make use of settings like modify same user level, alter admin interface options and create user groups for each department. Next, the VC dial agent screen logout link credentials. By default in VC dial, once the agent logs out, the credentials are stored in browser history for auto fill the forms for next login. This link shows all the user login related data. To disable this, under system settings, set zero for the option agent screen logout link credentials. Next we are going to see the Linux hardening related to VC dial operations. The first and foremost security concern in VC dial is SSH access, which sometimes leads to DOS attack and root login attempts. For better security, change the SSH port 22 to some other port, example 2222. Though changing the port will not stop the SSH attack, but it will reduce the attacks. Next best practice is creating new users apart from the Linux default root user. Then you can disable the root user login via SSH by setting the option permit root login to no under SSHD config. Finally, you can use the brute force protection to block the IP address who failed to log in with wrong credentials. I have provided the link to the bash script for brute force protection in this video description. The best way to secure the VC dial is using the firewalls or use the IP tables or use the VC box dynamic portal. Using the firewall or IP tables, Open necessary ports required. Here is the list of ports with respect to protocol used in VC dial. Here is the sample IP tables to allow and block IP address, ports, etc. Thanks for watching. Catch you with another video.